people often say, if I didn't do this, I wouldn't, what? I wouldn't, I should, or I might. Does it sound familiar to you? <laughs> but, people often say, like, if I didn't oversleep, I wouldn't get fired. If time could go back, I would do better next time. Unfortunately, there is no if in life. The only thing we can do is to live in the moment. So perhaps we can find out what we are regretting about and do better next time. And today I prepared some questions to ask you. And the first one will be, do you have any regrets? The question goes to Foster. I think if I, I can uh, more young again, I regret, I, I wish I could be crazy like a circle. Then maybe, <laughs> you can be crazy just now! Three oh. by three years, I was like... Crazy. Circle, you know, crazy model. I, I, I took part before and uh, didn't do anything. So if I can crazy like a circle, maybe I can do something great now. So, <laughs> <laughs> That's excuse! <laughs> so I think I learned I, I learn many things from <laughs> from circle attitude. So if I can be young or have time machine, I I will try to uh, use circle spirit to modify some I regret before. So uh, all in all, I really have something I really regret. Uh, so and uh, the Maya circle attitude. If I can oh, use wow. this period, oh. I can modify. Very <laughs> happy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Next question is: Have you ever hurt anyone's feeling and wish you never done it before? The question goes to Tim. Contest is that you still need to have some money. You still need to have some admission. Then. And what happened was that to make for the budget, to break even for the budget, I made a decision to charge everyone, including helpers, including everything else. But later on, what I didn't know was that one of the judges was actually a very, very senior judge. This is a true story, by the way, and hope that you can learn from my experience then. One of a very, very senior judge, I think about 80 years old. And uh, what I kind of regret was that um, I asked him to pay, and then he fought for and he sent a whole mass email to even district leaders, even everything else then. And then I was actually very, very embarrassed. And I, and I, and I said, well, well if, if that's the case, then okay, then I just cover for everything then. So you don't have to pay. But in the end, what the meaning of that was that this 80-year-old man who was a very senior Toastmaster, what is thinking is that it's not about the money. It's not about how the attitude that. It's about the real thing about respect. And it's about the respect of another person 
Oh, it's not about the money. I mean, the break even the money, if you lose the money during the contest, if you lose during the, the or organized some kind of event, but it's how you interact with the person, how you interact with being become respectful. And this is what Toastmasters has taught us. I didn't, was not aware about that until when that happened. So that is kind of like my learned lesson. So I want to share with you what I learned and hopefully that you can learn from this in the future. Thank you. <laughs> All right. The next one is, if you could talk to your 18-year-old self, mm -hmm. what would you say? The question goes to Michelle. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. 
and she um, uh, she made a point with the boy and mm -hmm. the boy's grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I haven't uh, I couldn't do anything. So on that day, I I went there and I I meet them and I don't know um, what should I do. But after that, uh, the boy. Uh, uh, he want to have a new starting and I, I told him sorry I, I couldn't go out with you and, and I told him the truth and he said okay I, um, he can realize that and yeah after that she to tell uh, his grandmother and his grandmother and my mother is good friend so <laughs> you know, it's a very um, complicated and my mother angry with me. She said, why I told um, tell the boy the truth? I say, yeah, because I, uh, I don't want to cheat him. And, and my mother say, but, um, but she's a, a, he is a good boy. And I say, so what? I already have a boyfriend, and we have uh, some fighting. And finally, I'm shot with my mother. I don't want you control my life. I just want to choose um, who I want to be together. And my mother, I think she already maybe a little bit near crying. So. <laughs> And she, um, and she told me uh, she really felt disappointed because um, she said I need to discuss <laughs> with her. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah not just uh, uh, tell um, tell the the boy Because um, they already, they don't they don't talk anymore, so oh. I really just yes, oh. um, feel sorry. So. They should feel sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, they should Thank feel you. sorry. Yeah. I don't know, but if I can, <laughs> <laughs> I will choose uh, maybe stop three. That's all. the chairman back to junior high because junior high first students is child are stupid and uh, there was uh, one girl that uh, let's say she consider I consider she might like me the books oh this is terrible <laughs> <laughs> so 10 minutes um, i did hang out with her um some time i consider that a casual activity to spend some time we have some common interesting you know but there was one time 
<laughs> that I I suppose to go out with her. We have uh, already arranged this plan to hang out with an afternoon. Well, however, the problem here is that uh, there is another girl who is invite me to watch a cartoon movie, Pikachu. And that girl was like extremely charming. That's, she's so charming that some other boys from another class will go to our class to just spot her, you know. So to me, it's like a, like a jackpot. I can reject this kind of opportunity. I'm so stupid. <laughs> you know, I'm so regret about this. I, talking this made me feel so embarrassed. So, this story and all that, uh, you felt. <laughs> I told that girl who I supposed to go out with that I have a very important things to deal with. Oh, in a sudden, I have to do that so I can go out with you. Huh. Then we go to Cartoon see that movie. movie. Yeah, <laughs> Pikachu movie. What? <laughs> then, then we bump into her oh, during the oh, way oh, go oh, to the theater. Oh. <laughs> and you know how, how it's going to end. Now I don't have to describe how <laughs> devastated. The scenario can be right. So, I feel if I'm older, I will not make this kind of terrible decision. I will be like way more considerate. Like, uh, if you've never been hurt by someone, you don't really. Back to that one, I even think that, oh, she will be fine, like just uh, in a few weeks. Uh, because, uh, you know, it's just like a children's love. It's how it works. But, uh, Turned out it didn't work out, and sometimes when I back home to Kaohsiung, I, I, one time I bump into her in the bookstore, and I say hello to her, she don't even hello back to me, so it makes sense. But in the end, oh, my story is so terrible, and I so <laughs> so, so, in short, there will be something that, yeah, not in short, but I believe it is now in my age now, I will definitely, let's say, not handle this better. It's about not making this sort of terrible decision and being considerate to other people's feelings. Mm -hmm. Thank you for this very difficult topic. I hate you. Apparently, we all have three grades in our minds, both big and small. And before I close this section, I want to share what I have learned from regrets. It's like, when you know better, you do better. So, give yourself a break for whatever you're regretting about. Because the best thing you can do is you apply whatever you learn from regrets to your current life. And do better next time. My question might not cover everything you regret about, but take those questions as a predict. Once you find an answer of your own, you might be able to let go and move forward. Yeah.